Good afternoon. I am Mr. Ace. Thank you for joining me for this video. We're looking here at this integral 1 plus x squared all within a root. I have that secant cube x because when you handle this using the typical trigonometric substitution rod, you will end up with a secant cube x. Most calculus students will normally take this approach out of familiarity. The only problem is when you end up at that secant cube x, it's not easily handled. The reason why it is not easily handled is because you'll think of that as a secant x secant square x dx. When you think about that secant square x, you're bringing in a trigonometric identity, which is this tan square x plus one, and then you separate everything into their separate integrals. You have a secant x tan square x plus, I would have a dx here, and then here you'd have a secant x dx. This right here is very easy because it's an antiderivative, easily waiting for you to get to. This right here is not easy because you have a u is equal to a tan x, and then du is equal to secant square x dx. This secant square x will not fully cancel out with this and you'll still have a u over here along with a secant x and then you're kind of stuck over there. So this typical polynomial substitution route for this specific part does not work. You have to have an alternate route. That alternate route is the topic of this particular video because it comes very well into play. The alternate route is a reduction formula which you very well apply to a integral which has this form right here. Here in our particular case n will equal to 3 and we'll show you why that will be the case. The reduction formula will be this. You'll do n minus 2 or n minus 1. Remember I'm showing you a way of doing it. Someone might say there's another way. I'm just showing you a relatively good way because you can rely on this. Here you'll have a secant. You'll have n minus 2 theta d theta plus this reduction formula has two parts, one of which comes with an integral, the other one comes with no integral. This will be secant n minus 2 theta times tan theta all divided by n minus 1. This here is your reduction formula you need to pay attention to if you want to go this typical route and be able to solve this using trigonometric substitution. Now we set it aside and we look at this. We're looking at a is equal to 1, x is equal to tan theta, dx is equal to secant square theta d theta. You plug those in that very first integral. You'll have here 1 plus tan square theta and then dx is secant square theta d theta. By means of a trigonometric identity which will equal here in terms of secant square theta, the root of that will be a secant theta. That secant theta will combine with the secant square theta and you'll end up at secant cube theta d theta, which is exactly what I have right over there. And for what we have this reduction formula in place. When you apply the reduction formula, it's not hard. Here your n value is a three and you just apply it. You have a three minus two divided by three minus one. Three minus two is a one. Three minus one is a two. And then you have a secant three minus two, which is a one theta d theta plus. Here you'll have a secant theta tan theta over 3 minus 1 which is a 2. Look, this is the only part under the integral. This is not an integral anymore. It's just a rational function. You just have to worry about this and you can easily worry about it because you know. Secant theta comes out as a natural log. Secant theta plus tan theta. And then you have all of that which is already part of your antiderivative. Secant theta tan theta over 2. Now you want to clean this up because you have too many thetas here and theta has a meaning. The theta over here is basically arc tan x over 1. Because when you look at this and you solve for theta, you're getting arc tan x over 1. When you comprise and compose a triangle with regards to this, you get an x1 and you get an x squared plus 1. Now all you have to do is plug in these thetas into this and you'll generate your antiderivative. We'll put the antiderivative here and we'll put the denominators at the end. You see how everything is an over 2? You can put all of this numerator under a single over 2 and that's what we'll do. Natural log. Secant of this theta is going to be a x squared plus 1 under a root. Because you're looking at everything with regards to the theta. Then you have plus tan theta. Tan with regards to this theta is just an x. Then you have this plus secant theta, tan theta in a product relationship. We look at tan first. Tan theta is just an x. Secant theta with regards to this is a root x squared plus 1, all under a root as you know, and all of this is under a 2 plus c, and there it is. Here is your antiderivative for this, which is the same thing as the antiderivative for that. And natural log, absolute value, root x squared plus 1 plus x, close the absolute value, plus x root x squared plus 1, 
all divided by 2 plus C and the question has been done and you were able to do it by means of this reduction formula or a reducing formula it's right here before you this could very well be a number other than 1 it could be 1 2 3 4 whatever number but if you're going to take the trigonometric substitution out you'll end up with this no matter what this value here is then you have to apply some form of a reduction formula which will take you through this procedure and that's exactly how you're going to have to handle it then thank you have a nice day bye